Tonight, a new miracle special with food foul-ups, <laughs> wedding woes, <laughs> and watery wipeouts. Think of a number between one and ten. That's right, it's the You've Been Friend Top Tens. Welcome to the show. We start with a framed staple and the top ten trampolines. At ten, teenage mums try and kickstart their labour. <laughs> At nine, mum regrets initial laughter. <laughs> Oof. At eight, couple bounce whilst Tree Stump looks on and comments. At seven, forget the trampolines. I want to see a pair of naked feet or I'm stopping the show right now. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> At six. Roger's on it now. Yes, Roger's on it now. <laughs> Not sure what Roger's on exactly. But I want some. <laughs> At five, Subo makes good her escape. <laughs> you and at four, it's the Bing Crosby. Straight down the middle. At three, the incredible gravitational pull of a pair of bushes. Come here. At two, don't put your trampoline too close to the tree. And at number one, careful positioning of safety mats do just the job. Now, and we love you really. It was nothing but a quick thing. Kids, games, kiss, chase, just a quick fling. Now I'm hoping you never go missing. Now I'm telling you, you can hold this ring. Watch out what this is. So it was done as quick as the wind blows. Didn't think I would ever be involved. So I even made a song called Don't Go. Now it's just you and me on a love road. Yeah, I'm like D-Low, us two, TikTok, I get low. And now I can't just set the thing now we're deep in way past intro that we explained though See, never did I think a boy like me would be in me When all I really wanted was to have some fun I'm telling you one thing, number one See, I don't understand how you're number one When it was just a fling before now You're the one See, all I did was blink twice And at 10, as you can see from his colourful bandage, he's just had a brain operation. In fact, he's playing with the bit they removed. He's clearly not missing it. At 9, this child seems to have a pint of white wine at his side. No wonder he's having trouble eating. You can't give a child white wine, let alone in pints. Small sips of a spritzer, maybe. At 8, what happens if your birthday is on Pancake Day? Your mum tries to flip the cake. <laughs> Flipping egg. If you want to help prevent childhood obesity, then it's simple. Just press the red button on your remote control now. Good work. At six, BG's dad has lively sense of humour. Oh. At five, at my local B and Q, they've got a very relaxed way of mixing up your paint colours. I'll take 25 litres. At four, lo, the Buddha speaks. <laughs> no, it's a radish. Is it a radish? <laughs> 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 At three, again.
again, if you wish to prevent childhood obesity, you can send in the anti-obesity dog simply by pressing the red button on your remote now. <gasps> Straight in at number two. This is how they choose the new Dalai Lama. If the icing sticks to his face, he's in. And on the next plane to meet Bono. And that one. Forget Cabris or Haribo. New on the market, Samuel Beckett sweets. They combine the great taste of marshmallow with an active ingredient that makes you experience the emptiness and existential despair of life. And then the next layer forces you to confront your own mortality. Also available in banana. Still to come, stupid kids. <laughs> Fantastic Falls <laughs> and Fire! See you soon. Welcome back. Our top ten big days now. And at ten, rare footage of Sarah Kennedy's marriage to Cracker Jack star Peter Glaze. In at nine, Singing in the Rain. <laughs> At eight, it's never too late to back out of it. And if you can't face telling her, feign a heart attack. <laughs> nice one. At seven, camp cigarette smoking man with a camera helps out. Who <laughs> get her? At six, it's Eamon Holmes' second marriage and he wasn't taking any chances. He needed her to be completely disorientated for the wedding night, but it was a pay bar. At five, Groom has a rare medical condition which affects his speech and makes him give an answer first, followed by the question. Here comes the answer. Wait. Another question. What was that? It was a wave. <laughs> At four, the bride's ex is in the congregation with a poison tipped blow dart. Look out! <laughs> a non mover at three, weddings during the fuel shortage required a certain amount of lateral thinking. Should have waited. At two, the old tradition of crush the seven year old girl. The person who crushes the child will surely marry next. Man at number one. Never get George Michael to drive you to the church. Here come the top ten H2O moments. Every now and then, the Fern Britain gastric band just goes snap. In at nine. Thanks, Dad. At eight. Ah, Canby Island and Danny Dyer goes water skiing. Are you ready? I'm ready. He's ready. <laughs> At seven, a false start to the new life in Panama. <laughs> Give it up, mate. At six, you can always trust a bald man with glasses. Well, that's what I keep telling my wife. I can't speak for anyone else. In at five, never leave your children with adamant. Ridicule is nothing to be scared of. At four, more canals than Venice, it's Birmingham. And here we are on Spaghetti Junction. At three, it's Channel 5's own version of Total Wipeout, sponsored by Blue Sun Lounges Limited. Product placement. At two, Challenge TV's version had an even smaller budget than Fives. In fact, this was the only task. A pole stuck on some old tires. Biggest ratings on Challenge since they started. And still at number one, speed cameras for surfers prove surprisingly effective. Hey, boy.
recording the music now, and it's tricky. This speech is my recital. I think it's very vital. To rock around, that's right. On top. It's tricky. It's tight. Here we go. Rock around, I said it's not that easy. It's tricky to rock around, rock around. That's right, on time is tricky. It's tricky, tricky, tricky. It's tricky to rock around, rock around. That's right, on time is tricky. Tricky, tricky. It's tricky to rock around, to rock around. That's right, on time is tricky. Turn. At 10, it's top American import, piñata. Hit the funny object and the sweets come out. Or if it's easier, hit your sister over the head and screams come out. At 9, you never really know what they get up to after you've dropped them with the child minder, do you? Still, out of sight, out of mind. And not over at eight, it's Bobby Crush. <laughs> at seven, it's Robin Hood. Watch out. Look at the tension on that bit of string. Yikes. When he lets go of that, that arrow is... Oh. So much for the merry men, eh? Don't snap it, don't snap it. Do it again. Steve, I this our want... Straight in at number six, it's a classic. Someone's parachuted into the front garden. Up two at five. Run, rabbit, run. I am leaving now. No, I don't know what Nan's saying either. At four. Wheelie, 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 wheelie. Painful in the eye. Down one at three. It's a ghost. And worse than that, it's a blind ghost. <laughs> Ouch! Bubbling under at two. Whose idea was it to put Emma Dale on at tea time? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Love you, really. Number one, it's not how you start, one, it's how you finish. Two, three, go! <laughs> Top ten on wheels now. And at ten, fitting an ejector seat was a bad idea. <laughs> at nine, the real reason Sarah Kennedy was sometimes late for work. <laughs> In at eight, lottery win. A while's away his days annoying the neighbors, but entertaining his wife. <laughs> in at seven, you can pay this bloke to write a message in smoke on a hillside. <laughs> Hang on, I asked for happy birthday, not a giant exclamation mark. Go back and do it again. <laughs> Going. Going, going, gone. At six, here come the coalition government. At five, a non mover. Go karts. There's a clue in the name. Go. You in at four. Swaffham High Street. It's muddy. Whoa. At three. Look out for the sleeping lumberjack. Oh. 
Bubbling under at two, it's the edge on a U2 male bonding session. <laughs> one love. <laughs> and at number one, stunt riding and comedy. It's all in the timing. <laughs> oh, my head. What happened? <laughs> Now, and all of this chronology is making me feel alive. Right, right, turn off the lights. We're gonna lose our minds tonight. What's the deal, I love when it's all too much. Turn the radio up. Where's the rock and roll? Party crash, party smash. Call me up if you're a gangster. Don't be. a memorable moment on your mobile, you can upload it directly to us at itv.com forward slash framed. It couldn't be easier getting your hands on 250 if your phone clip is used in one of our programs. Top 10 pets now, and at 10 we'll never get fed at this rate. Yeah. Oh, Bob, how about you? Well, you go round and back and see what you can do. Okay. okay Done it. Chuck in. <laughs> you donut, it's all over the floor now. Sorry. At nine. Okay, so where do you want dropping? <laughs> this end of the fish tank or the other end? Let your mind up, the meter's running. I've got to pick up at the ceramic castle at two. <laughs> Stuff it, I'm dropping you here. <laughs> hey, I've got an idea for a game. Skip the rabbit. Hey, this is fun. Yeah, I thought it would be. How's it end? Not sure. At seven, George Bush and the DIY show he presents with a cockatoo. This week, soaring plywood. A beginner's guide. It's a good soaring. At six, ever wondered what Sylvester and Tweety Pie look like in real life? Well, here they are. The real Sylvester was a ginger, and Tweety Pie was based on this little boy. They thought I threw a pretty tag. At five, it's Boris Johnson's latest scheme to cut congestion in the capital. Dog power. <laughs> At four, Justin Bieber reveals the secret of his success. All his songs have been written by a horse. <laughs> At three, come on, Beetle, it's Tuesday evening, salsa night. Why do you come to salsa night if you don't want to dance? Come on, let's go. It's salsa size. You dance, you keep fit. Straight in at number two. Okay, you let him in. I'll wrestle the answer off him. Where are the biscuits? Tell me, where are the biscuits? <laughs> and at number one. Ah, all those empty seats. It's like a Peter Andre gig. <laughs> what are you talking about? I am sitting. What do you think I'm doing? This is a seated position. Six. Six. Oh, is that Claire Baldy? I love you, Claire. <sighs> oh, no, it's not. Apologies. Sorry. <sighs> it's the backbone of every You've Been Framed. It's the top ten falling overs. At ten, it's the Red Wedge reunion ramble. Billy Bragg, Jeremy Hardy. Whoops. I hope you got your lunch in a Tupperware box, Jeremy. 
At nine, still in his England shirt, a bloated Wayne Rooney returns to his Cheshire mansion with a week's shopping from Lidl, eight cans of white lightning cider and two rustlers and a quarter pounder. Light the candles, Colleen. He wants to make it up to you. And the two boys that Liza Minnelli gave birth to after a brief marriage to David Guest are now in their teens and a little cack <laughs> That's it, Liza. Laugh it off. <laughs> At seven, it's little Joe McKeldry, the X Factor winner, and he's forgotten his key. <laughs> At six, where does God stand on female vicars? Well, in this clip, he makes things pretty clear. Don't like them. At five, it's the loose women team on holiday in Bury St Edmunds. That's Jane MacDonald and Denise Welsh on the left in the chair. Should take a run of the jump, pity. <laughs> she used to do this routine on the ships, which is why she was arrested. Well, it was the Isle of Wight ferry. At four, if it's not. Cheryl Cole out scrumping for conkers. <laughs> Looks like she's six weeks too late. The squirrels have had them all. No, they're not buried their pet. At three, my eye is drawn to the low-hanging green swag curtain that dominates this living room. Not many rooms can carry off a low-hanging green swag like this. But this is clearly a family with style, if not balance. At two, is that a water slide or Ainsley Harriet relieving himself? Of course not. Make the most of it, lads, before the council install a meter. And still at number one, check out the professor with his giant mortarboard. It's a type of hat. I wondered what Jim Miroquai was up to since Denise Van Outen married Lee. Oh, JK. You all right? I'm giving my voice a rest now. Luckily, these next tapes can speak for themselves. Surprised! <laughs> Catnapped! <laughs> and Moto Moto Madness! See you soon! <laughs> Welcome back! Shocks and surprises now! At 10, it's a kiddie's birthday party. But where's the entertainer? <laughs> Ooh, someone's in a bad mood. In at number nine, I never got to see the Walking with Dinosaurs live show, but this is the next best thing. Frighteningly lifelike. At eight, with the home of Noel Edmonds' next door neighbor. And here comes Noel himself. He's managed to squeeze through the dog flap again. Oh my God. 
He is naughty. At seven, the non-mover, as Jamie Lee Curtis is disturbed. <laughs> In at six, it's a team bonding session at Microsoft, led by Bill Gates. But where's his sidekick? <laughs> Hiya! At five, when girls are louder on tour, poor Nicola Roberts always has to clean the other girls' hotel rooms. Nadine's behind you! At four, here's Ford planning. In case he wets himself with shock, they've covered the stairs in cling film. The dog's pretty chilled about it. A non-mover at three, guess what? Mummy and Daddy have got a new car. Go and take a look on the drive. It's a Nissan Micra. He wanted a Toyota Prius. I'm kidding, of course. It's kids' favourite, Wayne Rooney again. Oh, Wayne, you are naughty. At two. She's never heard a vacuum cleaner before. Welcome to Kerry Katona's house. And at one, how to learn river dancing. Oh, the Irish. Winter Woolies on now for our top ten cold clips. At ten, Lily Allen practices her entrance for the new Royal Variety Show. At nine, Sir Ranulph Fiennes prepares for his most difficult adventure yet, attempting to scale the north face of the Millennium Dome, or rather O2 Arena, to get to the ticket office for a block of front row seats for Barry Manor. Oh Bad luck, Sir Ranulph. Try Peter Andre. I bought front row the day before. <laughs> Barry, that's it. I'm Barry, that's it. At eight, looks like a Lowry painting, don't it? What do you mean, who? Here they come. My mum is screaming for help. <laughs> Pardon me. At seven, who left the giant slinky at the bottom of the mountain? At six. Oh dear, Gary Lineker's locked himself out again. And they've got this brilliant burglar alarm. Whoa. Told you. Oh, and you've got two canoes stuck to conservatory windows. I knew that was going to happen. No, but you didn't really. It all came off. At five, they've got a neat way of keeping the punters on peace at this resort. The electrified fence. <laughs> ah. All right, mate, it's not that funny. At four, have a little skid. Oh, try again. Nice one. I'm guessing that hoodie's made from man-made fibres. What shoes are you wearing, Mum? Very sensible. <laughs> At three... Are you ready, Corey? I am ready, coming through! This is what they call the snowball effect. <laughs> At two, who says polar bears are rare? There's one. And he's frisky. Got me fish, love. You got any fish? Oh, prawns, what? Uh, scallops. Scallops. <laughs> and win at number one. Okay, the skiing's a bit scrappy, but he's got a lovely finale. Oh, oh. Sweet. <laughs> Animals now, and a song about coffee.
am the god of hellfire and I bring you fire. At 10, exclusive footage of the 2012 Olympic ceremony opening. X Tomorrow's World presenter Judith Han and some sparklers. We'll show the Chinese. At 9, the fun of the barbecue. What is it that makes us go into the garden and set fire to our food when we've got a perfectly good oven in the kitchen? I find lighter fuels good. In this case, I think they've used rocket fuel. No air, no oxygen. It won't go down. Linda Fry, this is a normal occurrence. Yep, looking good. Maybe do with a couple more minutes. At eight, midnight in Swaffham High Street and the traffic wardens let off steam. It's a nightmare, really, but it keeps house prices nice and low. At seven, it took John McEnroe a while to settle into normal life once he'd given up pro tennis. Oh, my! Yeah, he hung out with Mickey Mouse for a while before he got the commentator job. Oh, my! At six, kebabs. Yummy, yum, yum. And perhaps a little hot chilli sauce. Not that hot! That's the thing with kebabs. They are also useful as solid fuel. At five, yes, the cat died and it deserved a bit of a send-off. Cue the tap dancing. Happy feet. I've got those happy feet. At four, we're back at Swaffham. It's now 2.30 a.m. and the police have joined in. <laughs> a non-mover at three, Andy Kershaw's annual camping holiday, in which he lights a beacon to let his family know that he's arrived safely. <laughs> this is the simmer. <laughs> what are you doing the souffle in the Thanks, Andy. After a while, we will turn it off so that you can see what it's like for a barbecue. Right. And at two, there's only one guaranteed cure for bad breath, and here it is. Three, two, one. Go. There you go, it burns it away. And most of your tongue. And at number one, the annual meeting of the We Hate Justin Bieber Society always ends proceedings with a life-sized effigy of Justin. Justin. <laughs> baby, baby, baby. <laughs> then he says, ooh. <laughs> if you need some help with parenting, this chart should fit in the gaps. At number 10, from Gary's accent, you'd swear he was actually Jamaican. Here's me on the cliff, on the cliff. Yes, I'm on the cliff. <laughs> and now he's on the floor. Ooh. At nine, on busy ski slopes, try using your child as a human torpedo to clear a path. It's against the Geneva Convention, but it works. At eight, are those enormous kids or is it just a small table? It's a smart table, that. It cleans itself. Ow! <laughs> At seven, this lad's reenacting the moment when Sterling Moss's car spun out of control in the 1958 Grand Prix, but in slow motion. Here's Sterling in his Maserati, up behind Joan Bakewell in her Robin Reliant. The rest is history. At six, boy George up to his old tricks and trying to steal a float. Daddy. He went that away. At five, BBC Two favourite Marcus Brigstock in this Nintendo advert. Yeah, he was trying to keep it real. Karen, Karen just goes nuts. He got paid, but it never went to air. Yes. At four. We've got a string that's attached to your tooth, that's attached to the baseball, and Jeff's going to hit the baseball, and your tooth's going to go flying. Thanks for the explanation, Mum. <laughs> that, move dog, dog, dog. Don't try this at home unless you want the social road. <laughs> at three, an odd mixture there of tiles and carpet. I probably would have placed a brass strip down it to demarcate it, but no matter. <laughs> Blimey, pattern tiles as well. What's going on? Someone called Kevin McLeod and the Grand Designs team. <laughs> Straight in at number two. Oh, 
Russell Grant has left his cape on this hill while he goes swimming in the ditch. But has anyone seen his pants? There they are, look. And at number one, after two hours of sarcastic comments from the kids about his turquoise snowsuit, David Icke finally snaps. <laughs> Music now, so get on your dancing shoes. Mayhem now. That crashes to you. At ten, it's the indie band Motocross. Here come Florence and the Machine. Now Mumford and Sons and oh, Gomez has taken a tumble. Good luck, guys. At nine, got a stiff neck. Then you need Jeep Chiropractic. Yep. That's got it. Oh, so much better. At eight, you two's the edge, and he's late for his beard trim. Get a move on edgy, or David Guest will steal your place. At seven, Titchmarsh off to bury his cat. Go on, do what like that. Oh! Oh! You twonk. The priest's here and everything. At six, Cars with tables on the roof. Nice idea. It meant you could have a picnic anywhere you liked. Did make them a bit top heavy though. Okay, get the scotch eggs and Ribena, we'll have it here. At five, another great idea was mobile golf holes. You had to be really good to get the ball in a mobile golf hole. You in at four. Peter Mandelson hangs on to his PA for dear life. Quick, call a cab. At three, he put his motorbike through a very hot car wash, and this is what happened to it. At two, it's John Barrowman having a little R and R down at Paula Grady's farm. Look out for the. Oh. And at one, if God had meant kids to drive. He wouldn't have invented accidents. The blind driving the blind. Hold on. Coming up. Animal attack. Oh. Teen traumas. And the final countdown. <laughs> See you soon. Welcome back to the You've Been Friend Top 10. Top 10 Animal Now. At 10, David Walliam's young wife films him in bed. No, not like that. But with his new kitten. But the cat would prefer his breakfast. <laughs> At 9, early footage of George Orwell and his original idea for Animal Farm was baboons. Baboon Farm. But he bore a grudge and refused to give them the oxygen of publicity. <laughs> At eight, it's Michael Evis, the week before Glastonbury, but his cat isn't happy with the lineup. At seven, 
Why can't swans go on holiday to centre parks if they've got the money? They do like the pool to themselves, though. At six, pigeons have long memories, and this man once laughed at one with a club foot in Trafalgar Square. <laughs> Take that! At five, killer's frontman Brandon Flower and his puppet Kwame the Cockatoo. Kids hate it almost as much as the dog. At four, Peter Mandelson again in the garden of his house in Primrose Hill. Yep, he'll do anything to get the blacksmith to call. A non-mover at three, here's an odd one, a duck sizzling four puppies. It's against nature, and the duck knows it. At two, birds have held a grudge against ballet dancers ever since Swan Lake. Number one, it's WWF Interspecies Tag Wrestling. And the parrot's up. Go to it, parrot. It's the top ten teams now. At ten, it's the photo shoot for Louis Walsh's new band. They're called Primark Club Five. But he's failed to spot the irony of having the photo taken by a huge bin full of rubbish. <laughs> I'm saying nothing. <laughs> in at nine, the winner of the clumsiest girl in a brown tracksuit goes to... Well done, love. Nice one. At eight, Class 5C's science assignment was to build a working model helicopter. These two did no prep and winged it on the day. This particular effort resulted in detention for four weeks. Oh, you numb nuts. At seven, when jumping, a switch on this diving board automatically releases a ball. Not sure why, but it does. At six, inmates at Feltham Young Offenders Unit have smuggled in a trampoline to make good their escape. Yes, under that there's three lads digging with spoons. Quiet, or you'll attract the guards. At five, someone's trapped in the old warehouse. Quick, call Team Jet Ski Rescue. At four, former X Factor stars Ridian and Ray Quinn both came second, both still very angry, particularly Ridian. At three, five o'clock rush hour, someone's got to slow those speeding bikes. Who says there's no jobs about? At two, funny place for a window, or did they just dull glaze the serving hatch? No matter. What was the plan for this video if it had gone right? And still at number one. Based on the idea of the Venus flytrap, my Venus hoodie trap that is slowly clearing Britain of the menace. Within three months, every major shopping mall will be hoodie-free. <laughs> Music now, and how to end this top ten special. I'll give you free guesses.
That's all, Framed fans. Don't forget to keep sending your tapes and DVDs to Free Post You've Been Framed, or just go to itv.com forward slash framed, where you can upload your clips direct. Now it's even easier getting your hands on 250 quid if your clip is used in one of our programs. And don't forget to check out our website for terms and conditions. Until next time, cheerio! Don't panic. Jeremy Kyle is booked and ready to rock at 2.45. We've got a trio of Jeremy Kyle lined up for you. Then at 6 o'clock, more of the good stuff, another trio. This time, though, it's You've Been Friends here on ITV2. Later at 9, Simon Pegg and Nick Frost are fighting off the undead from the pub in Shaun of the Dead. Next up, it's Paul Payne's.